welcome to your midweek this morning. Now, before we tell you what's coming up, are you watching the new BBC drama, The Split, surrounding the ruthless world of divorce? Well, the second episode aired last night. So today we're dedicating our phone in to the truth about divorce. Now, here's a look at last night's episode. And for anyone that's going through a divorce, it's a scene you may well recognise. Must be 18 or over. Right, on with the show. And here's what's coming up today. The Sphinxmans are trying to help one viewer get over her fear of bees. But it's not just a big day for her. It's a huge day for our own This Morning Bees too. Alice Beer, can you tell us why? Morning to you. Good morning. I'm on the roof of our old home at ITV in Waterloo with Tom, our resident beekeeper, and our This Morning Bees. Some 20,000 of them are currently sleeping in there and we're going to move them during the programme from here in Waterloo over to where you are in White City during the programme. Hopefully that will work. Just one question though, why is he dressed in full armour and I'm in a cagoule? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, yeah, I've got yeah, to be honest. Absolutely. Can you, are, are all the bees guaranteed at home right now? What happens if someone's gone out I'm and they come back? I can't bear it. Where's the house? I oh, know, no, it's okay because we're moving them the right distance. If it was less than seven kilometres, three kilometres, seven kilometres? Three kilometres. Three kilometres, <laughs> then um, there'd be a problem. But as we're moving a distance away, seven miles it is, to be precise, it's fine and they won't try and find their old, ho old home. Oh, okay, good. Phew. No, so I'm still not happy with that no? explanation. Would you like them to get an Uber? That's my... There's going to be builders here, they'll make them a cup of tea. <laughs> There could be two or three bees out diligently working today because it's a really bad day. Everyone else stayed home and they went out thinking, no, do you know what? It's a, it's a, it's a terrible day, but I'm going to go out anyway. I hear oh, you. The house is gone. Oh, but I think they've oh, all... I see what you mean. No, Phil, it's OK. Oh, they're all the inside off. because they're of the weather. Here. Don't because worry, Phil. Are they all they're in all there? They're all here, Phil, because Come of the on. weather. Yeah, yes. they're all in there. They're all counted for. OK. All right. Because if I see one leave, then the whole thing is off. Because all oh, you've got to go okay. out and find it. Oh, hold it. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're going to divorce you as our beekeeper. We've got the top okay. lead family lawyer in yeah. here. Today. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right then. Anyway, so that we got that cleared up. <laughs> From bright red to pinks and blues, uh, you never thought you'd dare to wear them, but Bryony shows you how to pull off this season's must-have colours. As she calls herself the ultimate yo-yo dieter, and even admits cheating her gastric band, Vanessa Feltz joins us to share her dieting confessions. And she's one of the most familiar voices your little one will hear. Harley Bird, the voice of Peppa Pig, is coming in to tell us something very exciting. I can't wait for that. So, that's this morning bees at 10.45, all of them. Get bold, brave and colourful at 5 past 11. Vanessa Feltz's uh, diet confessions are at midday. And the voice of Peppa Pig is at quarter past 12. Will you work? Could you could you just say down uh, down camera one there that it's the end of the show and I hope you've enjoyed it for um, us. Hello, I hope you had a lovely show and I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. So Thank you for having me. I'm going to get me. serious mum points with my kids when I get home today, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, right, on tomorrow's show, we'll meet the woman who spent nearly £200,000 on cosmetic surgery, all to look like a caricature drawn when she posed on holiday. Wow, see you tomorrow. in fashion too. Bye. Have a lovely day. Bye.